Today we're going to be talking about doula business and social strategies. We'll go over who I am and why I can be talking to you about this, the why behind doula business and social strategies, like why are they important, five business must-haves for your doula business, social media strategies for success, and then we'll be concluding. So to get started, my name is Kelly Britch. I am a birth and postpartum doula and a certified lactation counselor through my company, Seen and Settled. And I'm also head of communications for the Tampa Bay Birth Network. Before I discovered my passion for birth and postpartum, I was a copywriter. I worked for a marketing agency and also owned a digital creative agency. My company specialized in giving businesses the voice, images, branding, and social media strategies to clearly communicate their unique selling propositions and therefore set them apart. I say all of that to tell you that I'm not only talking to you as a fellow doula, but as someone who has some marketing experience as well. It's my belief that in order to turn this into a profitable and sustainable career, you have to remember that you are a business owner. That's a hard thing for many of us because we typically don't see ourselves as entrepreneurs and we probably didn't get into this to be a business owner. I know for myself though, I want to be in this work for the long haul. I want to make lasting change. I want to help families for years to come. But In order to do that, I have to make money to support my family. I can't disrupt my family to go to a birth or a postpartum shift if I don't have something I can bring back to them to make it worth it. Because they don't get that emotional payoff of helping a family to make up for the missed bedtimes and boo-boo kisses and all those things. So it's really important to me that I make this sustainable. As a business owner... I think it's important to have five major things. A website, a Google business page, diversified services, service area that is clearly communicated, and a social media presence. Let's start with the website. A lot of free platforms out there that you can use if it's not financially feasible for you to have a website as of yet. I know that Wix has some free options, and there are more out there as well. But a website gives prospective clients a way to find you, get to know you, and most importantly, contact you. A lot of doulas rely on Facebook pages instead of websites. (laughs) Don't get me wrong. I think that having a Facebook page is great. But the amount of information you can share there is pretty limited. And when clients hire us, they're hiring a relationship. We want to give them every opportunity possible to feel a connection with us before hiring us. And the amount of copy that a website allows gives you the chance to walk prospective clients through how you can solve their problems and give them a chance to get to know you a little bit better. A Google business page is the other thing that I think is super important. Make your business searchable. How many of us look on Google to find service providers in our area? Creating a business page is completely free and will absolutely bring you more business. Plus, you get the added bonus of giving past clients a place to leave their reviews, which is a great way to boost your credibility. Third, I think you need to have diverse services. Let's be honest, burnout is real in birth work. Dr. Madeline's talking about it. (laughs) It's very real, especially if you focus all of your time on one thing. By diversifying your services, you can not only get a break from being on call, you can also build your business in a way that ensures that you will have some sort of work at all times. There are dry periods of doula work. Sometimes people just aren't having babies, and if they are, they're not asking for doulas for some reason. So some of the services you could offer include birth doula support, postpartum doula support, lactation counseling, placenta encapsulation. You could even get into teaching, childbirth education, infant feeding courses, newborn care classes. Finding a way to make money at all times means that you can be in this business for the long haul. Fourth of all, I think you need a clearly communicated service area. I'm going to say that again. 
you need to have a clearly communicated service area. This is so important across all platforms, sites, and social media. I can't tell you how often I see an Instagram page for a business and I don't know where they are. Do me a favor. If you have one, check your Instagram page, check your website homepage, make sure that where you are is listed there prominently. Do it right now because it's so important. Add it to your social media accounts. And doulas, this is especially important because we're not traveling everywhere. And if I can't find where a business is, I give up and I move on. And other consumers are exactly the same way. Don't make clients work hard to learn key information because they will give up and move on. Fifth of all, you need business-specific social media accounts. I don't know about you, but anytime I hear about a business, I try to find them on Instagram. If I have a question about their hours, their offerings, anything, I look on social media. Create social media accounts for your business. Share important information, including your website link, and establish your expertise by creating and sharing educational content. I mentioned before that whenever clients hire us, they are hiring a relationship. By putting your face on social media, by talking about important things that will impact them in birth or postpartum, you are giving yourself credibility and you're giving them a chance to feel like they have a relationship with you already. Super important. Now, since we're on the topic of social media accounts, let's talk about social media. It's easy to get overwhelmed. It seems that things are like always changing with social media. And on top of that, content creation can feel like so time consuming. But there are a few things you can do to make things more manageable. I think that having consistency across all platforms is super important. Um, You can see here I have shown my Instagram feed as well as my website. And you can tell that this is the same account. This is the same person. Let's move on to target audience. This is one of the most important things that you need to do. Identify your target audience. Who are you wanting to reach? By thinking about your ideal audience, you can know how you should talk to them and what you should say. And it doesn't have to be just one person, but it should be one main person. Your audience could be active learners, people that are attracted to your account because they're looking for educational content. They might not be in your service area, but having more followers can be great if you're planning on diversifying your services by offering online education. Fellow birth workers, what a great way to find and connect with other professionals. I love it. And then third of all, prospective clients. Prospective clients often look to social media to find and get the to know service providers before they hire them. So what better way to reach them than social media? Second, you need to create a strategy. Sit down and think through a plan. What do you want prospective clients to know about you and your services? How many times a week do you want to post? Now create a plan for each of those days. This will help you narrow down the possibilities and come up with topics much easier. For example, on Fridays, I try to post a frequently asked question. Here I have just thrown together a plan for a strategy for posting. On Monday, I post something motivational. Tuesdays, I do teaching content. Wednesdays, I talk about what I do. Thursdays, I do a funny reel. It does not have to be this. This was just made up, but it shows you how easy creating a strategy can be. Just remember who you're talking to and what they need to hear. Third of all, find and use content planning resources. Canva is great for creating branding and templates that you can then use to create cohesive content across all platforms. Like I said, having a cohesive and consistent image is super important. Planoly allows you to plan out all of your posts. You can even upload the content with a caption and have it auto post. That is a paid feature, but it's great. And then Instagram actually allows you to create and save drafts. So you could create reels in a batch and have them ready to go already in Instagram to post. 
Which brings me to my next point. Batch your content. (laughs) If you know that you're going to post something specific on certain days, then you know exactly the kind of content you need to create, which means you can sit down and create a lot of it at one time. It not only saves you brain power, it saves you so much time. Who wants to go in a kitchen to create one, to make one cookie whenever you could create a batch of cookies with the same amount of time? It's great. And then next, write everything down. Create a list that you will always have handy. I like to use my notes app. Anytime you think of a potential idea for content, write it down. Because you never know when inspiration is going to strike, but it is almost never when you need it. Trust me. This list can be a real lifesaver. That's all I want to say about all of this. I hope that it has inspired you to take your doula business to the next level. It's my hope that by presenting ourselves as professionals, we will elevate the profession and therefore make it more accessible to all families. Because everyone can benefit from the support of a doula, and every doula should be able to do this work and support their family. Have a great World Doula Week.